Our game of the week, Central Catholic picked up where they left off with a week one win, but this would be a tough Whitmer team standing in their way. Irish and Panthers no longer conference opponents, but still no love lost between the two. Whitmer seeking their first win in the matchups since 2017. Central reminding everyone this is why it's been that long. That's the wrong highlights, folks. That's the Anthony Wayne highlights. And there's play highlights. These are not the right highlights that we want. There we go, Central Catholic Whitmer. Let's roll them off here. Whitmer has lost this series every year since 2017. Central Catholic is powerful. Defending state champs up 21-0. Marquand Braswell takes the handoff. A tough 10-yard run. Irish extend the big lead. Give credit to Whitmer, though. They didn't give up. Central looking for more points. The pass is picked off by the Panthers' Elijah Shabazz and returned back near midfield. A great play, but unfortunately for the Panthers, it did not result in points. Now here we go to the second half. Tyler Morgan will help out with this one. Eight yards away. Scores Central 2-0. They win 35-8. You know, you knew they were going to stack the box and say, you know, we don't know if you can beat us throwing the football. And boy, we made it sting early with a couple of those. So that was a great to see Terry Collins come out and execute that in the first half because that opens a lot of things up, gives him confidence, opens up the offense. So very happy with how that first quarter went and what, how we can build off that. We slipped up a little bit in the second quarter, um, which is why it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it's something that we got to work on with, uh, you know, not being uh, too complacent with being up um, and really, uh, you know, keeping you know our foot on their neck. But um, you know, it's you know next week mentality now, and we move on, we learn from it. It feels good, you know. Our goal is to go one and zero every week, so came out here and gave it all. It's real good, you know. Last year we, you know, we had a loss, you know, we trying to go undefeated this year, so it's even better. Hey, how everybody's coming together, uh, you know, like like we said, you know, during the second quarter. And even the you know from start to, to the third quarter, um, offense wasn't doing too good, and the defense picked us up. Um, you know they kept that energy up for us to go you know capitalize and get another uh, um, you know score on the board. So I would say us just you know keeping going together as a team and you know just building each other up, not tearing each other down when stuff goes wrong. I'm very excited to get a home game for the guys. You know they are they're looking forward to it. We haven't started many years out with two on the road. And it's great we're going to get to go back and play at the Gallagher Stadium in front of our home crowd in our first league game in our new league. You know, it's a lot on the line with that. You don't want to start off a league play 0-1, then you're playing from behind, and especially against a team like Detroit Catholic Central that has 10 state titles under their belt. So it's going to be a tough test.